Miss Dolly, and we are using this sketch from Page Maps. All right, once a month, several of us ladies get together and we take a sketch and we create a layout. And there is a twist to it. We cannot do a single 12 by 12 layout page. We have to do anything but that. So I am working in my little composite book here, which is six by eight. I am using my scraps from my homemade kit the month of February, which is based around the Maggie Holmes Flourish collection and Willow Lane. Not their complete collection, I just have bits and pieces. All right, and that photograph is from 1988 and I am in the bedroom with two of my oldest children and we are just playing with building blocks but off to the layout here uh, this strip here is from with the butterflies is from the Flourish collection and then the other strip is also from the Flourish collection and I'm just going to layer them up they were already pre-cut to that size, believe it or not. And I use the tearing technique with the ruler. And you're gonna see here in a minute, I'm gonna discover that the top and bottom edge was not tore, so I did that. And then the paper was really crooked, so I kind of straightened it out. And I did all that using the tearing technique and my ruler. And then I'm gonna ink all the edges of that butterfly paper using the Distressed Oxide Hickory Smoke. All right, why you watch me do that since I got ahead of myself, just be sure to follow this hop. All the ladies links to their videos are listed below, not to their channels, but to their videos, which will take you to their channel. So if you haven't subscribed to their channels, please do. Please share our channels because we do these videos to inspire everyone to scrapbook and document their memories in a fun, creative way. All right, so I just finished inking the edges and then I'm securing that butterfly paper to the black and then I'll secure it down to the um, book here. And then I decide that, oh, I thought I was gonna go ahead and ink, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut my circle out because in that sketch, you saw there's a large circle element and then another smaller circle element that goes in the middle of that larger circle. So anyway, I'm using my Creative Memories circle die cut system, I guess is what you wanna call it. And I'm going around and I'm gonna cut out that circle. You're gonna see me do that twice to make sure it goes through that. I, I get the circle cut out. My blade is getting dull. Um, I need to go on, find a Creative Memories consultant because I need to get all new blades. All right, now in that sketch, it called for a strip of paper to come out from the upper left-hand corner of the photograph and tucked under the, the, um, the strip of paper on the right-hand side. Sorry that I'm stumbling over my words. Just bear with me. All right, so I tuck that in there. And then I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, I'm not really 100% positive. And then I thought, well, I need something up in that upper left-hand corner. So I decided to get my Heidi Swap Color Shine and I get the color mint and the color coral. But before I do that, because I'm, I look back at the photograph, I mean at the sketch, and I realized that there's another circle element. So I use my, um, was it Pink Fresh Studio stickers? And that sticker says, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I thought, oh, that's perfect for this photograph and this layout. And the reason why is because I'm in there trying to build something with these two kids, not sure what, and we're using Legos and those cardboard looking brick um, thing. So anyway, here you see me um, using the Heidi Swap Color Shine, like I said, in coral and in sweet mint. And I'm just putting splatters up there and just doing a little at a time. And I go back and forth between the two until I'm satisfied with the amount of splatters there. 
And let's see, what else are we going to do? All right, I'm going to get into my box of die cuts that's separated by colors. And this one, I have mitten coral together. And I saw this clear sticker, and it's actually kind of heavy. But anyway, it mimics like a watercolor fill or the smushing technique. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. It goes with the butterfly and the tones of that Maggie Holmes paper. Then in that same box, I had that circle flower reef, which is from Felicity Jane, the Willow Collection. And both those go together. I know that clear sticker I got from Hobby Lobby's. And I can't remember, I think it's, it's called Creative, something like that. Um, and it's for a journal book. They have a whole section and they have washi tape and those clear stickers and clear words and um, a roller stamp and everything. But anyway, it's from Hobby Lobbies. All right, so I'm trying to arrange right there. Or I am arranging, not trying. I'm arranging my photograph in that reef. And I'm happy with that and I'm gonna glue that down then I still decide I want to bring in the circle element I use foam tape to pop up the sticker from pink fresh studio the one I just told you that says I have no idea what I'm doing so I put um, like I said foam tape behind that and then I decide to get out my circle punch that's one and three-fourths and I tuck that underneath there and then I'm gonna look for there it is I'm gonna look for that other little circle punch that was pre punched out already and now I I got out my Tim Holtz word stickers and it says make a difference great things take time creativity takes courage and so you saw I first had them directly above the photograph and then I slid them over to the left and ooh, did that make me happy? And then from that Pink Fresh Studio sticker, I got out the one that says, why not? And again, it just, all those combination of words just flow on this layout and is perfect for that photograph that I'm documenting with me in the kids' bedroom trying to be creative with blocks. <laughs> so anyway, again, please be sure to follow the links below, share our channel, subscribe, and give us some love by showing us by hitting the thumbs up button, all right? And you can show us love by sharing our channel. I'll have some still shots coming up here in a minute. I did a little bit of journaling right under all those circle elements. I'm gonna bring my little travelers composite book up closer so you can kind of see the layers that's going on and see the colors but anyway i'm really happy how this um, layout turned out all right guys we'll see you next month be sure to hit the bell button we post on the third sunday of every month all right bye